Today, we're going to check out the season three finale for Irumakun. Let's jump into it. Logo review. But before we do, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy these reactions. We're trying to get to 32,000 subscribers by the end of the month, 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's possible if people like you choose to subscribe. Also, I'll be checking out tons of isekai in the upcoming seasons. I, I love isekai, so you'll find plenty of those on the channel. And you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Uh... <laughs> Bajiko! <laughs> Look at her. I hope she's like a couple hundred years old, man. I would love to see them together. Actually, she is. She is a couple hundred years old, right? Girl, you being modest. Wait, we know her, right? <laughs> now she's just getting mad thinking about her like, damn it, that one bitch. Mmm. He works hard, man. He won you over, man. That's what Iruma does. He wins people over. That's what he does. He wins people over. Bro, she almost dressed like Bochi right now. What is that? Bachiko the Rock. <laughs> oh, little bow. Aw. There you go. And this will forever be what you wear. I don't like that. That's scary. What the fuck just happened? What is. Whoa! Oh! A large amount of demons gone missing? Oh, shit! It's the one dude! It's the one dude! The Musashi no crew. Who the fuck are these guys? What the? Oh, wait, that's what's her name? Oh, that's oh wait, these guys. Okay, I'm bro. <laughs> I was like, I, I was looking at them like, oh my god, who are they? And then I recognize her, and I'm like, oh wait, I remember her. Oh, I remember it. I remember them. Yeah, I remember them. I remember them. That's interesting. Damn. What you about to do, Bachiko? <laughs> no, no, wait, hold on, <laughs> chill. <laughs> Yeah, put that. I mean, you could just put that away. You don't need that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, he did look kind of cockawing just now, bro. Sullivan's very cockawing. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> A human? No, that's not true. Now the bad guys also know. That's so cool that he trusts her like this. Well, he can erase memories of conversations? That's kind of dope, bro. That's kind of dope. Even with, like, a higher-ranking demon like Bachiko. <laughs> I love when he turns into a little egg. She about to try and eat his ass right now. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Um, <laughs> she about to get in trouble. Damn that bed, bro. I get jealous of his room every time I see it. So big. Uh oh. Oh no. What if they don't have a lot of mana before the next? Uh oh. What's that? It's an invitation. Ooh, to what? Damn! 
Wait, they haven't been here before? I thought they went here once. I'm tripping. Bro, this man lives in a fucking mansion. Oh my god. Damn! She's exploring the place right now. Damn! Car is too much excitement. Let's go. Oh. Damn. Damn. As. Bro, that is disrespect. Damn. No. Uh huh, Clara. Oh. Dude, that is dope. I like them all. They all look yummy. Thankfully, like, I can resist desserts. Like, if I went out to eat, I don't order desserts. I very rarely eat desserts. I like desserts. They are tasty. But I just rarely eat them because I know that they are just full of sweet and sugary goodness that will not be goodness for my figure. <laughs> I, yeah. But I would. I would eat, like, tons of fucking sweets and shit. I would love sweets if it wasn't for the fact that I actively avoid them. I'm glad I don't have a weakness for sweets, bro. That would suck. I would, I guarantee you, like I weigh two, uh, I'm, I'm like hovering between like 203 and 206. You know, if I, if I, if I did a little more exercising, I'd probably be around 195. If I did a lot more exercising, I'd probably be around like 185. I don't do any exercising at the moment. And that's why I'm around 205. If I ate sweets living my current lifestyle, like if I had a, like an addiction to sweets living my current lifestyle, guaranteed I'd be at least 250, guaranteed. Bro. This man has an obsession. That's a fucking shrine dedicated to you. Uh, in the middle of the game? Who does that, bro? What the fuck, Iruma? Oh, I guess he already got knocked out. There's some craziness coming. There's some shit coming, right? What's coming? I feel like he's gonna tell them, right? He's gonna tell them. He's gonna tell them. And they're gonna be okay with it. They're gonna be like, oh, cool. Or he wants to tell them, but there's going to be a reason he can't tell them now. That's Mama. I knew it. Bro, why she look like she jumped on his shoulders? That's her leg, right? Bro, what you doing right now? <laughs> Love doesn't work unless all parties are happy. Um, that's actually true. Yeah, because honestly, if you if you are unhappy with someone, you're more likely to fall out of love, you know, or to love them less. But having someone love you under false pretenses, that's a really fucked up thing to do. It's like catfishing almost. He's low key kind of catfishing them when you think about it. Hmm. That's also true. Whoa, and sexier, damn. A little finger, bro. You better watch that finger, girl. Like suck that shit off. <laughs> what? <laughs> he falling in love. Look at that blush on him. He's like, damn. As your mama fine as fuck, bro. <laughs> damn. As gets his ass whooped by Clara a lot. What the fuck did? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? 
Turn him into a little baby! <laughs> she just put it on her head? Oh! Is he gonna tell them? Or is he just gonna tell them I have a secret that I can't tell you? Oh, he's not actually telling them he's human. Oh, he's not going to tell them, no. Oh. Wait, why are they laughing right now? All he did was say, like, thank you. I, I appreciate you. You guys are the best. You're literally my best friends. And they're like, ha, 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 yeah. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be like a wholesome moment. I just like, I don't, I, maybe it's just because I'm so cynical and like scorned by the world. I don't know, man. I just, I don't know, man. I just, I'm not laughing in that moment. I don't know, but they're cute. They are fucking cute. I'm not gonna lie. They're cute as hell. But that's not gonna happen because the bad guys are coming. Yo, we need some more, um, Evil Cycle Iruma, bro. I need me some of that shit. That's that good shit, bro. Person. Nope. Person! Yes! Let's go! They're all like, what the fuck? This guy's been here this entire time? A new friend, a new friend. Let's go! Person exists, guys! Person exists! That's dope, man. That was awesome. Oh, I'm so glad the person gets revealed at the end there. Oh, yes, dude. All right, good fucking episode. That was a great way to round it all out. I loved it. I want to just give you guys my thoughts on the previous episode. So I had an issue when I was recording. Basically, I, like I had a update for my windows that resulted in OBS not capturing any sound. So like I have the recording, there's no audio. And there were definitely some cute moments. I, I just wanna quickly like talk about the moments of the previous episode. I think specifically the biggest thing for me was obviously the Amory stuff, right? Like every time we get Amory moments, that's like what we're looking for. We always want some Amory moments. So them cooking, that was really cute. I really enjoyed that. If it kind of felt confession like, you know, giving him the chocolates and stuff, the can the the cookies or whatever. It was a really cute moment. I I love anytime we get Amory Iduma moments because that's my ship. And then the other thing that was really big was just the introduction of Lead's sister. And I thought when when she's like, "Oh, does do you does anybody have like a an older brother?" My first thought was Jazz's older brother. And Loki, I feel like they probably know each other. Lead's older sister, Jazz's older brother. I feel like they know each other. I don't know if they're close, whether they did it or not or anything like that but i feel like they know each other in in some capacity that's essentially my thoughts on the previous episode it was good i enjoyed it uh, but it, it wasn't like some massive thing and i'm really glad that no massive thing occurred when i fucked up on the recording bachiko now knows that iruma is a human huge deal now there are a bunch of people that know the bad guys still know which is not good like we don't like that part of it but for as far as the good guys go bachiko opera and granddad sullivan they all know that he's a human. That's great. And he almost tells Iruma, not Iruma, <laughs> Iruma almost tells As and Clara real close, but I, 
I'm also kind of surprised that he didn't just say like, I have a secret that I can't tell you guys yet. I thought that was gonna happen. I thought he was gonna say, I have a secret I can't tell you guys yet. And they were just gonna be like super cool with it. Cause that seems like the type of people that they are. Instead, he tells them that he thinks they are cool. They're so helpful. I, like they're literally his best friends. Wholesome, very, very wholesome moment. I like that shit. Bachiko having a thing for Sullivan, still really fucking cute, you know? I mean, maybe something happens there. That would be cute. Uh, Clara, when she arrives at, at Az's house, is just her her typical chaotic self. She, that's just, she is chaos. She is the embodiment of chaos and fun. That's like truly what Clara is. Az's mom, she, I mean, she, she's some, you know what I'm saying? She's some. But I, I do like the fact that she gives Iduma the advice. Like, listen, in order for love to work, everyone needs to be happy. I, that's... I'm sure that's kind of deba debatable in some ways, but I think that like on a very like surface level, when you think about it, it makes sense, right? If you don't like dive too deep into it and try to like pick apart the details, I think that that makes sense, right? Love requires happiness for everyone. Right. Makes sense. So I really like that moment. And then obviously the biggest moment is just the person reveal. So many great moments in this episode, man. This was really good. I also forgot to mention my thoughts on the previous episode. I love season three. I am so excited for the, the music festival or whatever that's supposed to come up. That's going to be really dope too. And now we got to raise everyone's ranks up to rank four. Um, I think that they're, I think that they said basically there's like one rank two left the one rank bet or, or maybe i'm wrong i don't know but they gotta get person up as well now person's finally being introduced i'm excited to see what sort of personality he has you know but that said i'd love to know what you all thought about the episode the finale for the season down in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one until next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace <laughs>